What time is it? Time to polish the frets. <laughs> Okay, time to polish these frets. I have uh, come across a new used uh, rotary tool which uh, has a nice extension piece on it. These are nice. Feed this cable into the, into the end, screw this piece on and it gives you a nice uh, tool that you can hold and maneuver a lot more easily. This one actually comes with a nice stand. Kind of looks like a looks like an IV drip. Yeah, great cameraman here. There we go. Anyway. Uh, there are several ways to polish frets. I'm going to use a rotary tool with a soft buffing wheel and some white jeweler's rouge. You can get this stuff in a hardware store, or get it online, just about anywhere. Now this guitar, as I said in previous videos, uh, has pretty nice pretty nice frets and I check them and they're pretty level I just want to polish them now if I were going to do an entire fret job on here leveling uh, crowning I would tape the entire fretboard off all at the same time because when you're leveling, you want to protect your fretboard and you want to have access to hitting all your frets at once. But for polishing, I'm just going to do one set at a time and it'll also uh, conserve my tape supply. So. Here's what we do. Quite simple. Start up the rotary tool, get a little buffing compound on here, and buff. Okay, <clears throat> as you can see, when you use that compound, and maybe even when you don't use the compound, you see how it gets black on there. What it does is take the surface dirt and the surface metal and peels that off of there. You can see. Or maybe you can't see a little bit of that comes off. How does this look? I don't know. This isn't the type of wheel I usually use. I usually use a cloth wheel. However, I just think this is a better wheel. It makes less of a mess. I'm going to go over this a little bit more. See, this leaves a, a residue on there. Which comes off pretty easily.
I don't quite understand why. My whole wheel's not covered in black, only part. Mystery of science, I guess. Let's see if I can get this a little bit better angle for it. I'm pretty shiny. I can see here and catch the light and it looks considerably better than this one. So I'm going to view that as a success. Now, in order to conserve tape, peel this off, move this down next to that fret. Take this off, move that right there. Good to go for the next one. Make sure you always wear eye protection when you do this. This is leaving some residue, some dust from the uh, wheel. Not a lot. Just want to see if you can maybe see the difference between the two I polished and the others. I don't know, maybe you can't. They all look kind of shiny, but I can see a difference. Maybe I've, I keep telling myself that I believe this is all worthwhile. All right, you know what? I'm gonna use the dirty tape. It right up against there. That's pretty much all there is to it. When I get up closer to this end, I'm going to uh, cover this up so that I don't get dust on the pickups. Actually, I can do this now. Let's put a cover over this. Maybe even uh, put a piece of masking tape here and here. Keep that so it doesn't uh, here. That'll do it. 
keep that dust away from the pickups. I'm going to do one more. I'm not going to torture you with any more of this. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.